Hello everyone, welcome to new AI video. I found something amazing and created a video to showcase to all of you. Watch until the end and you'll be amazed. Things are changing quickly in field of AI and AI characters NPC that can talk in real time are the future of games and immersive experiences. Before I explain how I made this AI character that can talk in real time, let's have a conversation with him first. Hi Greg, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ashutosh. It's a pleasure to speak with you once more. What inspired you to pursue a career in AI research and development? Well, I have always been someone who enjoys problem solving and finding creative solutions to complex challenges. This, combined with my interest in computer science and technology, naturally led me towards a career in research and development. Specifically, when it comes to AI, I am inspired by the potential for this technology to bring about positive change in a variety of areas, from medicine and scientific discovery to climate change and more. I believe that by pushing the boundaries of our understanding of artificial intelligence, we can unlock new possibilities for the betterment of society as a whole, and that is something that truly motivates me every day. My second question is, what ethical considerations do you think are most important when it comes to AI technology? Thank you for your question, Ashutosh. When it comes to the ideology surrounding artificial intelligence, there are a number of important considerations that must be taken into account. First, and foremost is the need for ethical and responsible use of this powerful tool. As we continue to develop increasingly advanced forms of artificial intelligence, it is critical that we do so in a way that prioritizes safety, transparency, and accountability. Additionally, we must consider how these technologies will impact broader societal issues such as employment, privacy, and accessibility. How do you approach problem solving and decision making in your role as a president and co-founder of OpenAI? As a president and co-founder of OpenAI, my approach to problem solving and decision making is rooted in a data-driven and collaborative approach. I believe in working closely with my team members to identify potential solutions and to analyze available data thoroughly before making any decisions. Additionally, I strive to maintain an open-minded approach when it comes to considering new ideas or perspectives, seeking out diverse viewpoints and perspectives whenever possible. Do you think these AIs will take away the jobs? It's a complex issue. While it is true that artificial intelligence has the potential to automate certain jobs, it's important to remember that AI can also create entirely new industries and job opportunities. The key is to ensure that we are investing in the right areas of AI research and development, focusing on those areas that have the greatest potential for positive impact while also being mindful of the broader societal implications of these technologies. So let's see how we can create this kind of character. So I have used in-world AI to create this. So what you have to do is first create an account and for us a free trial is more than enough. You have unlimited interaction time in Inworld Studio, 200 minutes of API integrations, unlimited character creation, right? So once this is done, you can click on start creating. It will take you to Inworld Studio. Once you enter studio, you will see that few characters has been created by default here, but we will be creating new character, right? So just click on this create new character button. Let's have a look at that. You can provide the name here. So I will go with Greg Brockman and here will be your description, code description, but you need to write the details here. So descriptions, right? I wrote everything in chat GPT, but sadly, currently this history is not available uh, due to some outage in chat GPT. Otherwise, I would have shown you that, you know, I created the entire script for this character in chat GPT. Okay, so let's come back here. Uh, you can either auto generate this character, but for my case, I created by myself. So you can click on this create and then you can go to continue uh, in character. Click on this. You can configure your 3D avatar here. Click on this. You can select take a photo or pick a file from here. So I selected this file for reference. Okay, accept this. And within five to 10 seconds, you will have your you know avatar ready. So you can see here, right? The avatar is ready. You can change the dress, hairstyle and other stuff. But for our case, we'll just go ahead and uh, this is not required. Just skip this. Now you can click on OK. Now you can see here we have to provide few details here, right? Code descriptions, motivation in one to two lines, flaws and challenges. So I'll go back to my character and I'll show you what I have filled there. So you can see here, right? So code description I have given as role, president and co-founder of OpenAI. Appearance is a tall, this, this personality, backgrounds, goals. So you'll see here that the question which I have asked was not given here. Okay. These are the very basic details I have given to this character. Okay. Apart from that, some motivations, 
plus an identity you can give names middle you know alternative names hobbies and interest if there are the character is like a famous people you can provide their wikipedia page you can set the personality emotions you can even set the dialogue style but i've just kept it as formal here and goals and action i have not given anything and scenes scenes are required if you are creating a games out of this character first for us it was not required right and then you can go ahead and save this once this is done once your character is ready you can come to this more option click on this share character on web you have to click enable this and provide some basic information and allow this character to be featured once you do this right so once the sharing setting is saved you can click on the character and you will have this view on web once you click this you can take this url you can go to any browser and click on this and it will take you to character and you can talk to them but you need to log in with your uh, you know uh, account and then you can start having a conversation with the character so thank you guys if you like this video uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video